Hey, what's up guys? Rideshare Guy here, and today I'm gonna give you my thoughts on Uber's next trip feature, right? So I think this feature is almost in every city now, but if you haven't seen it or if you're a new driver, basically what happens is that as you're approaching your destination, so you're with a passenger, you're approaching their final destination, you can now get a next trip request, right? So what that means is that a little mini accept request screen will come up on the app, and you can tap that, and that basically is lining up your next request. So um, it's kind of a cool feature, and basically I think it's definitely a good thing in my mind since it's actually one of the strategies we talked about over in my video course, um, which I'll leave a link to if you guys haven't checked that out. But basically in the video course, we used to talk about this strategy where if you knew it was going to be a minimum fare, and let's say a minimum fare in your city is two, any, any ride two miles or less, as you're approaching the destination, right? So let's say you're half a mile away or a quarter mile away, you can actually end that trip. And since it's gonna be a minimum fare, you'll get paid the same, whether it's 1.5 or two miles, and that would put you back online and have the ability now to get a new ride request. So this new Uber feature, I don't know, maybe they watched my, my video in the course where we talked about that, but they basically took that idea and now drivers can get a next trip request before they end their trip. So I think it's definitely a good thing because it will increase your volume and it basically lines up that next trip for you, right? So definitely a good thing and if it's coming up, you don't have as much time to study the request because you'll probably be moving with the passenger, maybe your stop. So usually, typically, I'll just accept it and go. Um, you know, so just make sure that you are being safe with it, though. You can't really take a lot of time. You just have to kind of accept it and go. Um, you know, where it can cause some problems, though, is when you're trying to go offline and you keep getting a next trip request. In some cities, I actually just got an email this morning from Uber that they now allow you to switch a little button at the top to go offline. So that's one good way to avoid it. Let's say you're trying to go offline, right? You want to do your last ride of the night and you keep getting these next trip requests. You can now tap the t tap the little switch or toggle the little switch and it'll allow you to go offline but you're still doing the trip so that's a cool feature and then that allows it so you won't get any more next trip requests and the reason why this is important because if you're on guarantees right guarantees usually have a 90 percent acceptance rate or if you're going for promotions or bonuses or something like that the acceptance rate is super important because you need to maintain that, right? So you could imagine that at the end of the night, if it's busy and you need, you're need you done, you wanna go home, right? But you can't log off because you keep getting these next trip requests and you know that if you ignore them, you're basically going to have to, you know, you might not hit that acceptance rate and if you accept them and then cancel them, that could hurt your cancellation rate, which is another thing that Uber looks at. Um, so just definitely keep that in mind. If you're not on those guarantees though, honestly, this kind of new feature and toggling online offline doesn't really matter because you can actually uber got rid of their acceptance rate requirement I'll leave an article uh, link in the show notes below but basically you don't need to worry about acceptance rate anymore if you're not on guarantees you can ignore as many trips as you want you might get put in timeout but that's sort of just a little bit of background and you know the second time that I've found from driving where this new feature um, can actually the next trip feature can cause some problems is when you have a rider who wants to make another stop so not super common situation but obviously it does happen from time to time and so let's say you have a rider right and they put their destination, destination A, into the app, and when you get there, you're navigating, right? You're taking them to destination A. As you're approaching, you get a next trip request, right? That's based off destination A. But the Uber passenger wants to go to another place. Let's call it destination B, right? So that's where it starts to cause some problems. So usually what I say is something like at the beginning of the ride, okay, final destination, Shake Shack, or wherever they're going, um, just say something like final destination, right? And they'll usually say, yep, that's fine. So I sort of just get into the habit of asking that. A lot of times they might be talking if they're with someone else, maybe they're on the phone or maybe they're with someone else and they say, yeah, we'll go here and then there. So just kind of pick up on that, obviously. And if they mention something like that, it's a good time to bring up that hey um, you know and then I'll tell you kind of how to solve that but first you want to identify if they're gonna be making multiple stops once you've identified here's what I do I actually ask them to change the destination to the final destination on the passenger app so how that works is let's say they enter destination A into the app boom I hit navigate on the uber app it takes me into Google Maps and now I'm navigating to destination A so the uber app though um, on the uber app they can actually now change the destination right and let's say they change it to destination B 
So now the Uber app sees that they're going to destination B. So it's going to give me next trip request based off destination B, but I'm actually navigating to destination A. Once I get to A, I pick up, I drop off, do whatever I have to do. The ride continues. I don't need to do anything other than go back into the Uber driver app. And now since pa destination B is in there, I can navigate to destination B. So hopefully I explained all that correctly because there's a lot of nav navigation and destinations A and destination B, right? So now you're navigating to destination B on the passenger side of the app and the driver's side of the app, it shows destination B. So if you do get a next trip request, it'll now be in the vicinity of destination B. So hopefully that clears things up. Um, when Uber launches a lot of these new features, I mean, typically they pilot it in a few markets and there's some bugs, there's some kinks to work out. And this would be a perfect example, right? They sort of added that online offline toggle switch because of this issue that we talked about earlier. And I'm assuming that they'll eventually add something to kind of for multiple stops or something like that to handle this issue. But for now, you know, if you're a driver, you really want to stay on top of these things because it can not only save you time, but it can also save you money. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I always look forward to hearing from you guys. All right, take care.